What's up everybody and thank you for tuning into this video where I'm going to talk about life lesson number 11 from all of the life lessons that I've learned from traveling and this is the last lesson. Now I'm continually learning more lessons and there's 10 other ones that you can see that I shared about in this series so definitely go check those out but today I'm going to talk about the value of money. Now life, life lesson number 11, it's such a mouthful, is that money is not as valuable as you think it is. I know for me personally, I struggled for a long time spending money. Like I was just, I don't, I don't know if I want to say frugal is the right word, but like I just had a hard time spending money on myself, spending money on activities, that kind of thing. And it stopped me from doing a lot of stuff. And when I was robbed in Europe and I lost everything and I experienced, you know, like $1,700 worth of loss, it was kind of devastating for me at first. And I was like, that's a lot of money that's gone. Like it's going to take me forever to make up that much money to rebuy those things and stuff like that. And you know, it made me, and the fact that I had lost my technology and that I had a lot of time to think to myself and stuff really got me thinking about, like, what really is the value of money? Why is it so important? Why do we place so much emphasis on it? Why do I try to save so much money if any day it could be gone? If any day I could die and then that money goes away? Like, why do I spend so much time focusing on saving and gaining money? And I kind of realized that money is great because you can, like, buy things and it gives you freedom and to do kind of things like that. But... After traveling all summer, I got to see that I got to do a lot of things for free by meeting people. And um, I spent money on some things. Like I did a zip line uh, activity, which was, let me tell you, it was $120. It was like the worst $120 I ever spent. It was the lamest experience ever. Um, and I spent $135 the other day doing skydiving. That was the best experience ever. And it kind of made me realize that, you know, I might spend money on things that aren't worth it and that it'll be ha it'll happen, but it's a learning lesson and it's an opportunity for me to share with you guys. So like if I know somebody who's thinking about going doing the zip lining now, I can tell them what the experience is like and really make sure that they think it's worth the $120. Um, and I can have a testimony to the fact that skydiving is amazing and it's worth the $130. So it's like I've, I've kind of grown over time to be okay with spending on myself because there's a difference between being cheap and being frugal and that's something that I learned several years ago but really helps me like shape my mind like frugal is when you spend less and you take it out on yourself and being cheap is when you spend less and take it out on friends to kind of like give an example like if you go out to eat with a bunch of people and you guys are gonna split the check if you know that you only have ten dollars to spend instead of buying a ten dollar meal and then saying I'm not gonna tip at all the rest of you guys have to do the tip that's being cheap. Being frugal is saying, hey, I'm only gonna order an appetizer because they're seven dollars. That way I have three dollars to put towards the tip. At that point, like you're saving money at your own expense. You're not saving money at the expense of others. And so that's something that I really value and I think is really important. And it kind of played a role in the fact of me realizing that spending money on myself to then also be able to contribute to others and give others advice and that kind of thing is really valuable. And so I just really want to get across the point that money is important for freedom and being able to do things and buy things but again you can also just by asking which is life lesson number two just ask you can get a lot of things for free and the fact that you know it could all disappear the next day just like I experienced while in Italy so be wise with your money I know it's hard and it can be challenging but I think that you should also have like a budget you know set something up so that you have money to spend on yourself and you're okay with spending money on things that might not actually be worth it, things that might be even wasting the money, just so you get that experience, so you have that balance. It really is a balance, you know? They always say it's all about good things in moderation, or like everything in moderation. Like, that, that's probably true for anything, and in this case, money. So with that being said, that's life lesson at number 11. That's actually the end of the official life lessons that I published in my book. If you guys want to check out my book and see all those life lessons in writing form, I'll put a link down below to my website. You guys can check it out there. Or you can watch all the other videos that are before this one. And uh, I really hope you guys get some value from it. I hope you guys learn a little something. And I hope that there's somebody you can share this with. Because my goal is to help as many people as possible to start traveling and to start growing as an individual. So if you could please share with somebody you know, I would really appreciate it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want me to talk about next because I'm looking for new things to talk about as I try to do a daily video on YouTube. And with that being said, I'll catch you on the next video. High five!